Say hi to YouTube. We're gonna watch the Seth video now. Because otherwise, hi to myself. <laughs> because YouTube has been demanding this video as well. They, they've seen that they've had this open and they've asked for the reaction upload. So now we're delivering. We are reacting. Hello, YouTube. I'm coming for you. Uh oh. Be careful, YouTube. Be careful. Because your pants, YouTube viewers. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Hi, YouTube. Let's watch the Seth video. Woke up in a feverish sweat. It was another one of those nights. Mm -hmm. They had the same nightmare. Walt Disney let their intellectual property <laughs> go into chungus? public domain. I felt sick. I thinking of vomit made me think of Pepsi, so I held it in. My diabetes was acting up. Pacemaker says I'm dangerously close to dropping below type 2. I needed something uh -oh. to calm my nerves. A Krispy Kreme, Coke Vanilla, and I a needle full of... I love Coke Vanilla. Coke Vanilla is my favorite Coke flavor. Coke Vanilla is my favorite Coke flavor, man. Heroin. Just what the doctor ordered. I think we communicated through several language barriers. Somewhere between the Aramaic and clerical Hebrew, I can't help but think we lost something in the translation. Lighting a cigarette against the pregnant darkness, I go for a walk. I'm cutting down. Which is why I cut off the filter. Like a dog showing you its stomach, okay. I send the tobacco a clear message. Yeah, of course, I trust of course. You. People pass by as I log into my Twitter alt and send out a credible threat to a Minecraft YouTuber. For some of us, <laughs> it's not about the recognition. It's about doing our part. This is a city that never sleeps. Once I saw... Wait, 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 wait I just say what part was cynical. This is a city that never sleeps. Parasynical was shot by an agent of virtue. Once uh -oh. I saw a man was that a ball cosplay? Of... Wait, was that? Crap. People pass by as I log into my Twitter alt and send out a credible threat. Trust where, me. where, People like where, where, where? On the phone or in the back or like? He often puts pyro in his videos. Okay, shots literally fired. Yes. Pass by on his phone. Okay. In. Oh, oh I. <laughs> It's KFC. It's no, no, no. It's the mall wizard. My I don't Twitter think it's Bow doing the mall out. wizard though. Bao also cosplayed that. She did, she did. But uh, Bao cosplayed the mall wizard. The mall wizard. I think that was just the original. Can you raise the volume a little bit? I can, I can. Uh, give me a moment. Let me boost it for you guys. Sorry. Uh. Out a credible threat. This is better. Minecraft YouTuber. For some of oh, us, louder. it's not about the recognition. It's about doing our part. This is a city that never sleeps. Once I saw a man standing off the side of a pier, tears rolling down his eyes as he told me, I can't Good. trust okay. anyone. That's why I ride myself. He auto filleted himself on the spot and rolled away like a meat powered wheel. Never did catch his name. Scammers, tricks, okay. open source developers. I've oh my god. Things in my time. My Kaizen V Love Plus implant can instantly sniff out if someone's an incel or in a committed polycule. But more importantly, if they have any spare change, I don't beg for money. I just ask 19 times and that's it. My oh. name is Seth Zintek, private Hello. investigator. Professional. I love how Bobby Kotick is his profile picture, and that's man. It. My name is Seth Zintek. Freaking. Bobby Kotick, the the man himself. Tech, private investigator, professional gang stalker. And this is my office for the next 50 minutes. After that, I gotta buy something. Why okay. am I telling you all this? Because together, we're gonna clean up these streets. Hey, gang, right. sorry. I've been distracted. I kept staying up late playing Once Human, an all-new free-to-play <laughs> post-apocalyptic open-world survival game releasing July 9th. Oh, the shit, did he get a sponsored a by them? Shit, sure, nice. We transformed our world into the world of Skibbity Toilet. This <laughs> is not a joke. You'll be fighting every zealous creepypasta from Siren Head to a refrigerator to an overly aggressive school bus. <gasps> what the frick is that? Yo, thank you for the up. Thank you so much. Nike Monkey 12 just subscribed Thank with you. Prime. What the hell is that abomination? That's my school bus. <laughs> what? Should, like, I downloaded Once Human. Um, I'm not sure if I want to play it on stream yet. 500 subs? Only 530? What? What are you... What? Us. Everyday objects are no longer your friend, and you will die at the hands of a Funko Pop. However, some of these deviations can be tamed to help you fight, craft, and survive. This is Pokemon. Did 
was only saved 530 subs and so okay. Through the lens of a man addicted to fentanyl. There's base building with full creative freedom and PvP with small up to 4, YouTube and gamers indeed. in a They're single very server. Very small. As absurd as this sounds, it's a lot of fun. I captured a bee and now it pollinates my crops. The Semitic oh. capitalist fears the self I do want to try the game. And if you're interested, you I do want to try the, the game. game on Steam using my link in the description below. I already have the game. I just haven't tried it yet. Would you guys like to see it being tried out live uh, hey, hey, on people. stream? Seth here. Shadows of Doubt takes place in an alternate timeline. Yes, you would Reagan like to. Was crushed to death by. Not you could show cute creatures to the streamers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll do it next week then. Maybe, maybe next week or the week after then. Is karmic debt. Thankfully, our new president, the Coca Cola Company, has hey! completed its righteous task of filling ghettos with crack cocaine. Hey! Unfortunately, the definition has expanded. You are the ghetto. Tensions are high. Is what is the only true justice is in the shadows. The shadows of doubt. But, uh, I doubt that. I checked the shadows. You know what I found? Mm -hmm. Me, stealing your oh. diamonds, battering what? your wife, and reporting you for domestic abuse. Yo? It's nothing personal. I just need a higher social credit score so I can get <laughs> out of this hellhole. The actual game is, on its face, a An extra social credit What's score? What? Everything. Starting a new game hey, generates an entire city. Populates it with oh. citizens that each have their own jobs, relationships, hobbies, and of course, homicidal fantasies. Murder is like romance in a male prison. It requires a perpetrator and a victim, and everything in between is a trail of clues left in their wake. Your job is to follow those clues, find the perp, and bring them to justice. That sounds Trademark actually like such a fun game. American Spirit, premium quality, organic tobacco. So that actually sounds so much fun, what the fuck? Your cone cells with a spoon, Playing on stream one? Probably work. next Step week. One, we need to I'm break thinking. into the crime scene and steal everything. Next week it's or the week the after. Would have wanted. After that, we can start really good at dust. Who died? How did they die? And when did they become dead? Make sure to get their prints while you're going through their wallet for loose change. Did they live alone? If not, find their partner's fingerprints. NPCs aren't programmed to have friends. The only time they physically meet another person is to be murdered. So any oh. unknown fingerprint is definitely the killer. Look around <laughs> for anything they might have touched during entry or Oh, shut off dub. This game is awesome. I haven't heard of this game before, so... Oh, this is basically my first introduction to the game as well. A procedural generator with random murder to solve and different leads to follow. Great game. That sounds so insane. That is so insane. Escape, doorknobs, light switches, the inside of a woman's toilet bowl. Anything I is possible. Did wow. The leave a murder weapon or drop a calling card. We did Wait, wait, wait. Was it? Was it so? Was that a demon summoning sign? Or is it just blood? It looks like a freaking demon summoning sign, what the hell? You can also be an absolute maniac to solve those crimes. I hope this game is very good. Killer, leave Damn. a murder weapon. Or drop a calling card. We did the easy part. It only gets harder from here. But first, the case board. As you work through a case, you can pin any relevant information to the board. As you collect more evidence, the game will automatically draw links between existing Yo! information. You can cool, make cool, diligent cool. notes, use color-coded threads, and organize every possible lead. Or you can do... <laughs> I can be my own con I can actually be a conspiracy theorist like this. Hell yeah. It's not demon summoning sign, it's magic circle. My bad! That, and pin random shit together and follow your schizophrenia. I can't Let's solve go! the in the physical plane. I need crystal meth to go to Hyperborea and <laughs> ask Yakub directly. And when you're done playing arts and crafts in an active crime scene, this actually is a demon summoning circle, leads. man. Check for handwritten notes. Break into their computer and check for emails. Open their address book, see if they made any recent calls. Now, it's about lunchtime, but we gotta get our hands dirty first. Find the landlord's office, break okay. in, check their files on every tenant, then break into their computer and check the CCTV. Every security camera Yo. in the game takes photos every few minutes. Every image showing a person gets saved to a 24-hour buffer, so you want to get to it as soon as you can. As you go through the oh, footage, shit. you should recognize every tenant, so print out anyone unknown, anyone who went near the victim's house, and anyone remotely suspicious. Alright, uh -huh, uh -huh, now we can uh -huh. go to lunch. 
Now, we have plenty of leads to follow up. We need to find each potential suspect and cross-reference their information. Look, I'd love to keep holding your hand, but I can't. Each case is unique, so the best way to explain the game is to tell you what I've been through. The first oh, the time I ever man. played this game, I ignored all the instructions, opened the fridge, and ate raw pork. I got so nauseous <laughs> I couldn't answer the telephone, and spent the next oh 10 minutes God, battling though. the controls to try get in bed to sleep off a of food. Oh my god, it even has food poisoning! What?! Poisoning. This was the tutorial, so the phone kept ringing the entire time. Then I talked to a random civilian, my hand slipped, and I accidentally tried to arrest him. Like hell you are, he said, before shooting me in the face. At this point, I was captivated. Because this game simulates a few hundred people at any given time, they're all uh, quite stupid. <laughs> Hey, buddy, I'll pay you a hundred bucks to fuck off and let me trash your apartment. Okie dokie, <laughs> I'll just go back to sleep. I like to Wait, say did you, him. Did you just shoot someone? You just shot someone. I apologize. This usually never happens. This <laughs> one has the collective IQ of Sorry, a my bad. challenged toddler. So the optimal play style is to be an anti-social menace. Sure, the game has stealth mechanics like alarm systems, air ducts, and lock picking, but um, I don't have time for that. Uh, what? <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Uh huh. Here, take this. Upgrades come no, in the form of No, that's sinker, perfectly fine fun. Which alter your genetics to become a better fighter, oh, better wait. lover. No way. No way. Did he give him the? Oh, did he give him the can as money? Oh, oh. So. Anyone suspicious? <laughs> not in uh -huh. the U.S. Yeah, not. Here, take this. Upgrades come in the form of sync discs, which alter your genetics to become a better fighter, better I mean, lover, what? and most importantly, a better consumer of starch cola. You're supposed yeah, to important. earn from side jobs until you learn of a more effective method called beating the shit out of your neighbors <laughs> and breaking into their safe. To top it all off, there's no long-term penalty for crime. Every exterior door is linked to a complex series of tubes that detects when I leave a building, sending okay. out a pre-recorded YouTube apology that makes <laughs> the population forget my actions I it has to have the ukulele though it does have to have the ukulele i can be caught on 4k murdering several people with a sword but the instant i go outside i'm a changed man if you want something take it run away and come back like nothing ever happened between this and the <laughs> well price of food and utilities you can easily cover all your expenses by committing more crime than you actually solve the only <laughs> real use for money is buying property and playing with the bizarrely detailed furnishing system hey. and once you've played enough to create the ultimate male living space you <laughs> there it is. Game. you see murders have a cooldown between solving a case and a new murder happening sleeping will pass the time and gives a speed buff when you wake up so you hop in bed oh, good for 36 too. hours straight no, no, no. time and gives a speed buff when you wake up so you hop in bed good for you need to max level the skill <laughs> wow i really shouldn't stick my d in there however Nikado Avocado Man. 36 hours straight, and when you get a new murder notification, hop out of bed, break your own window, and <laughs> plummet 20 stories to the streets below, which we survive because what? we're genetically modified to be immune to fall damage. <laughs> now, you can use Well Rested to sprint to the crime scene while chugging your morning coffee. This is not only fa I thought coke. Faster than the cops. What happened to it's the often coke? Faster than the killer. Of course, the way you're meant to pass time between cases is side jobs. Think of each one as a sort of mini case with limited information. Because uh -huh. some information is more helpful than others, the difficulty is completely random. Oh, you want me to steal from someone, but you only know his phone number? That's easy. I can just call the number and check yeah, the sure. call box to see where it was rooted to. Oh, he's on the floor below. We take those. But what about this one? I've only got his first initial, fingerprint, build, and blood type. Only, okay, oh, only. Yeah, very helpful. At this point, you may as well tell me I'm looking for a circumcised male in a small town of New York. I could just go through the phone book for. Um. Is it rare for people to be circumcised in New York? 
for every name with the same initial, but I've got an even better idea. Go to City Hall and open up the government database. This has records of every single citizen in the game. You're meant to type at least two characters to get any results, but this includes space. Naturally, everyone has a last name, so everyone Naturally. has space and a letter in their name. Now, okay. you can go through the entire database in alphabetical order Lovely. and print out every single person's information. Eventually, whatever case you had will just solve itself. But we're not oh. done. If you have the mental fortitude to sit there for a real life half hour, congratulations, you just ruined the game. <laughs> now your character will solve cases the nanosecond you get them. Arrest the killer. Okay. Already found him. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the victim was poisoned by a stalker neighbor for not loving her enough, but the victim did manage to get a shot off before expiring. She can't go to the hospital, so she's probably limping home as we speak. Mm. That took less than two minutes. Personally, I don't use the government database. I get my evidence the old-fashioned way, following a woman home to her place of residence and <laughs> of hiding course. inside her septic tank until of course. I expire. When they discover my body, the police will do the rest. <laughs> One time, I checked the victim's work computer. using your own life and realized she cheated on her husband at the hotel he works at while he was visiting his sick mother. Oh, that sounds like a motive. I paid him a visit and bingo, he's not cooperating. Mind your Silence own business. is violence and only the guilty refuse the law. Of course. So I did what any ethical private eye would do. Follow him into the bathroom and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, he uh, didn't do it. In <laughs> He was probably just rude to me because I had the same social credit as the homeless man I shanked on the way to work. Embarrassed, Excuse I you to what? using the method real cops use to catch killers. I sit on my ass eating donuts and wait Hell for yeah. to kill again, hoping the next murder is easier to solve. <laughs> so donuts in, I get a notification, rush to the scene of a crime, and on my way there... Yeah, turns out it was just their IT guy who murdered her for being dead weight at her own company. In summary, what? there's a lot of jank in this the reason is that game things will this game seems and peak it does will randomly deny service even if you give a right password and sometimes all the foot traffic causes a congestion where everyone gets stuck on the same staircase and the only way to free them is by throwing hammers in their face but for a game made by a small team of albanian immigrants on the budget of a kidney stone it's really what? impressive there's no other game that captures the ambience of living in modern day shanghai slurping my msg noodles as i listen to the soft drizzle of acid rain many games <laughs> struggle with procedural generation. Generally, I don't even like it. It's just another buzzword what? for infinite slop. But Shadows of Doubt succeeds because it creates nonsense. And because true crime will always be more bizarre than any simulation, the situations it creates are not only compelling, Starfield? they're okay. believable. And remember, Once Human launches on July 9th. Download the game for free right now. As Lost always, more content hey. to come, so stay tuned. A warm thanks to the many the men. members of the Merchants Guild, generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all Truly wonderful. Have a good one. Techly. <laughs> what a good video.